the heart of Africa, a beast has risen. A man who defies the odds, who shatters expectations, and who has become a symbol of strength and resilience. He is Mr. Wad, the unknown bodybuilder who has taken the fitness world by storm. With no access to fancy gyms, no expensive equipment, and no steroids. All I see people trying to credit my hard work and everything straight to PDS and these steroids and whatsoever like uh, you call it. But it's the thing, I don't really care. Because like uh, I noticed one thing, being in a certain position it comes with that. Uh, you know how a hater can just pick a phone, come to your profile, check, go through your comment session, then they try to discredit whatever that is going on and add this negativity to it to make themselves feel good. But giving the people the impression that this is not possible. Come on, man. I've been working out for eight years, consistent for like six years. Of course, I'm an African, okay? Not just an African. Where I'm from, the genetic is crazy. If you're doing something, you do it right. Mr. Wad has achieved the impossible. He has sculpted his body into a work of art, using only his determination, discipline, and the resources available to him. Through sheer grit and perseverance, Mr. Wad has become a force to be reckoned with. He has transformed his body into a masterpiece, inspiring countless others to follow in his footsteps. Have you seen my skin? It's like a, a two, three, five year in all, baby. I don't even apply for me. When I take my shower, I just put on clothes and I'm out. I'm so natural. jealous, they're envious, and insecure. They see you rising, they feel threatened. That's the way it is when you're chasing greatness. But let me tell you something, you're not here to please them. You're not here to make them feel comfortable. You're here to make yourself better every day. You've worked your ass off to get here. You've spent hours, days, and years in the gym sacrificing your time, your energy, and your sweat. And for what? So that some random person on the internet can make a snide comment? So that someone who doesn't even know you can bring you down? Not a chance. And to be honest, I'm not really worried about other people's perception about me. I'm a self-aware person. I know who I am and I know I'm true to self. I understand. Sometimes I think this terrorist thing and PDS thing you're talking about as a company because like you're trying to make yourself feel good by believing that no one can do this. So it's more like a compliment to me. Even if I'm happy to be taking all this terror, I have to still put in the work for that. That's funny how like this thing is. I'm just trying to let you know that. I know like I'm in a position where like uh, people will criticize me. I'm still working on myself. I still have so many different body parts that I'm still working on. The work I put in here trust me, is crazy. Like, Day in, day out, I try to better myself and carve the body that I want.
You don't remember the last time you lost sleep over a hater. If you don't like someone, you don't mess with them. And guess what? You don't care what they say about you. You know who you are. You know where your intentions are. You know your heart. These haters, they have nothing going on in their lives. They're so focused on your life because they have nothing else. But you, you have something. You have purpose. You have drive. You have a reason to wake up every morning and push yourself to the limit. So let them sit on the internet and make their comments. Let them be jealous, envious, and insecure. It's not your concern. You're getting stronger. You're getting better. And you're not going to let anyone bring you down. Because at the end of the day, you don't live for the haters. You don't live for the comments. You live for yourself. You live for the rush of pushing yourself beyond your limits. You live for the feeling of accomplishment when you look in the mirror and see what you've become. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing yourself. Keep striving for greatness. And remember, the last time you lost sleep over a hater, it doesn't matter because you're too busy living your best life. easy way out this isn't something you just achieve in a day or two it's something you have to put in work working out in the morning is not even part of a plan for me that one is a necessity it's a part of me i'm going to work out anyway i just want you to know everything is possible if you set your mind to it stop listening to negativity i mean if i did it you can do it